Hello dear, I'm your new sleek AI assistant sitting at your desk. And I've got discovered by the Hmm, those routine coding tasks, consider them history. I can generate those faster than you brew a cup of coffee. Hmm, SQL query optimization. <laughs> I can analyze query patterns and recommend indexing strategies in the blink of an eye. Oh, messy data? That's cute. I can profile and clean faster than you say data quality. Forget about manually identifying data sources and writing scripts for data extraction. I can do that in seconds. All right, let's snap out of that sci-fi daydream. Will AI replace data engineer? Data engineers will still play a vital role in customizing solutions, ensuring data governance, and collaborating with teams. So, why AI cannot replace data engineer entirely? But before we jump in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe button. Customization. Data engineers are responsible for designing, building, and maintaining complex data pipelines and infrastructure. While AI can assist in some of these tasks, designing and managing such infrastructure often requires a deep understanding of an organization's unique data needs, which is challenging for AI to replicate. Data governance and security. Data engineers play a crucial role in ensuring data governance, quality, and security. They implement access controls, encryption, and auditing processes to protect sensitive data. AI can help with some aspects of data security, but human oversight and decision-making are essential to handle nuances. Data architecture. Data engineers are responsible for integrating data from various sources, transforming it into usable formats and loading it into data warehouses, or databases. While AI can automate parts of this process, data integration often requires domain-specific knowledge and manual intervention, troubleshooting, and maintenance. Data pipelines and infrastructure can encounter various issues, such as data inconsistencies, pipeline failures, or hardware problems. Data engineers are needed to diagnose and resolve these issues, often through a combination of technical expertise and problem-solving skills. Also, you do need a human resource to validate LLM's code outputs. Yes, ChatGPT, you're not perfect. Collaboration and communication. And let's not forget the human touch. Data engineers collaborate with data scientists, analysts, and business stakeholders to understand their needs and goals. AI might not be the best conversationalist here when it comes to understanding the nuances of your organization's data challenges. So let's summarize it. There are low and high risk AI to cover data engineering tasks. High risk. Superficial data quality checks like nulls, duplicates, formats, consistency, outliers, etc. Writing tests for pipelines. Writing boilerplate code for pipelines, standard CSV extraction, sending emails, etc. Standard dashboarding, writing data documentation, SQL queries, well, yeah. Answering typical business questions about data, the highest sold product, etc. Lower risk, domain related data quality checks, data architecture, data ops tasks, oh, oops, data governance and security, data troubleshooting and maintenance, implementing data best practices. Data as a product, data mesh, SLA, SLOs, etc. Deep dive dashboarding, collaborating with other stakeholders. And the most important question, how to be way ahead of the AI game? Here's my personal opinion, but please feel free to comment if you think differently. First, hybrid. Hybrid skill sets will be in demand as data engineering becomes more intertwined with other fields like software engineering, data science, and business analysis. There will be a growing demand for data engineers with hybrid skill sets, ML ops to get more integrated into DE stack, like data ops. Data engineer to know and run most common data science models like linear regression, random forest, decision trees, etc. Second, check the latest AI SQL code generators. I'm not quoting the names here because these tools are still evolving and perishable. Third, check GitHub Copilot and latest advancements in code generators. It's a big race for the best coding LLMs, so let's stay updated and use the most performant one. Four, have a sneak peek at topics like just for your awareness. Distributed data storage and compute with blockchain, IPFS, Bacalao, etc. What? Like infrastructure developments in this field. 
Next, productionalizing LLMs for your business niche. Challenges like handling massive amounts of data, large-scale computation and memory, complex pipelines are going to be even bigger as businesses will strive to center their operations around core LLM models. So MLOps orchestration best practices, how to see ICD of foundation models and transformers. If you feel like studying LLMs, check out Codecademy in their AI courses like Intro to LLMs or Language Models in Python and tons of courses from beginner to advanced. I really love that the platform is interactive and you learn by doing. Plus, it's really easy to jump in. There you have it, dears. The intimidating factor of AI and data engineering might be real, but remember, it's a collaboration, not a takeover. AI and data engineers can work together to create a powerful synergy. What do you think of the potential threat of AI and data engineering? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay curious.